Hello guys, hey what's up? Welcome back to Ado Infinite Tutorials once again. In today's tutorial, we will be studying foreign exchange rate. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. At the end of this tutorial, you are able to explain introduction of foreign exchange rate, types of foreign exchange rate and calculations of foreign exchange rate. So, firstly, we will understand what is foreign exchange rate. In foreign exchange market where different currencies bought and sold, it is essential to know ratio or how many units of one currency. This ratio between two currencies is known as exchange rate. Before heading towards exchange rate, let us understand what is foreign exchange market first. What is foreign exchange market? Foreign exchange market is that market where we use to sell and purchase different currency. And obviously those different currencies have different value. For example, if we want to purchase $1 in exchange of Indian rupees. So what we do? We have to pay 63 Indian rupees to purchase $1. And the ratio between that dollar and Indian rupee is known as exchange rate. Further, how foreign exchange rate is determined? The exchange rate of any currency is the number of units of that currency which is exchange for one unit of other currency. It means if we want to buy one unit of other currency, we have to pay some amount of value in our own currency. And that some value is known as exchange rate of our currency in order to get one unit of other currency. Still confused? Let us take one example as we have already discussed. If we want to buy one dollar in exchange of Indian rupees. So what we going to do? We will pay 63 Indian rupees in order to get one dollar in return. And that 63 rupees is the exchange rate of our currency in order to get one dollar of US currency. Further, this exchange rate is determined by the market forces of demand and supply. How can one determine the foreign exchange rate? One can determine the foreign exchange rate by the market forces of demand and supply. Means if the price of particular currency will be high if the demand is high of that particular currency and if the demand is low then the price of that currency will eventually go downwards will decline will drop their value further we'll see main types of foreign exchange rates we have mainly three types of foreign exchange rates first is fixed exchange rate system Second, we have flexible exchange rate system and lastly, we have managed floating rate system. First, we'll understand what is fixed exchange rate system. In this system, exchange rate is fixed by the government. Why do government fix the exchange rate? In order to ensure stability in foreign trade or in capital movement by purchasing and selling those currencies which are of higher value. And for that purpose, they have to maintain some reserves also and that reserves can be in the form of gold, silver or some precious metals or it can be foreign currency. And once the domestic currency and the foreign currency is tied up, we call it as a packed, packed, a packed exchange rate also. They have another name which is packed exchange rate system. Next, flexible exchange rate system. This system, this rate can be determined by the market forces of demand and supply. If demand is high, price will go up and if demand is low, then price will go down. Next, we have managed floating rate system. In traditional time, we usually have two types of foreign exchange rate that is fixed and flexible one. But after the collapse of Britain vote system, once the Britain vote system get failed, then we have adopted third 
category that is managed floating rate system and how one can uh, determine the exchange rate in managed floating one can determine the foreign exchange rate means exchange rate by the market forces and also by the central government central government used to restrict the prices in order to limit their reserves in order to limit their value of their currency lastly how to calculate foreign exchange rate in order to calculate foreign exchange rate we have two methods one is direct method another is indirect method firstly we will calculate foreign exchange rate by direct method where one foreign currency is equal to n number of home currency for example if we want to buy 1 dollar we have to pay 50 indian rupees and if you want to calculate by indirect method then one home currency is equal to n number of foreign currencies here n denotes 1 by n of direct method so if you want to calculate by indirect method we have to reciprocate direct method formula so here we have one home currency is equal to n number of foreign currency and here we are calculating in terms of indian rupees so what do we get one inr is equal to 0.2 dollars here base currency is dollar us dollar 